We're back with a potential medical breakthrough in the fight against Lyme disease. Pfizer announcing yesterday that it has entered late stage clinical trials to test a new vaccine protecting against the tick-borne illness. So how does it work? And when could it be available? NBC News medical correspondent Dr. John Torres is here in studio with us uh, to break it all down. And, and admittedly, I did not fully appreciate how widespread Lyme disease mm -hmm. had become. The CDC says over 470,000 people right now in the U.S. Um, infected every year with Lyme disease. How far could this potential vaccine go in making a dent in those numbers? This can make a huge dent in those numbers. And if you look at the numbers, not only that, but the numbers have actually quadrupled in 15 years in rural areas and in urban areas they've almost doubled in the past 15 years and so it's not just people that live out in the woods that you worry about it's people just about anywhere yeah. and you can see the map there between 2001 and 2019 it's kind of the same areas but you can see how much darker it is in 2019 and even Colorado where I come from nothing in 2001 there's a few cases okay. now so it's spreading across the country so this is something that's needed desperately is that more reporting or to what do you attribute the increase I think it's attributed to a couple of things one sure there's more reporting but also we are moving into tick territory and ticks are moving into our territory because of climate change. And so we have a lot more interactions. And, you know, just the Lyme disease is spreading throughout the country. And for people yeah. who have it, listen, I know women who are a generation in front of me, and I know little boys my son's age, they have struggled. I mean, some of them can't even get out of bed. Mm. Some of them have had learning issues. I mean, it really is something to take seriously. So then do we expect this vaccine um, for to get, you know, get to the point where we can all get it routinely or and the vaccine we think that's going to happen and they're looking for approval in 2025 so they still have a few years to go so it's not quite here yet but it is getting phase three trials 6,000 people across the world children five and up so this can be children as well this is specifically targeted though for people who live in those areas you saw the map yeah. there so if you live in that area especially if you go outdoors those are the ones that need it and going all the way down to if you live in an apartment in the middle of New York and you never go to Central Park then you probably don't need it that type mm -hmm. of thing so it's going to be relative on where you live and what you're exposure is. Doc, once this is approved, uh, uh, granted it helps prevent it, but w will it do anything for folks who already have Lyme disease? We don't know, but that's the hope. And it's going to be, if you think about the COVID vaccine, initially when it came out, it was to prevent serious illness, but we're finding out it could help with long COVID. We think the same thing might happen here. So initially it'll do it for people to prevent you from getting Lyme disease, but hopefully they find out along the way that it actually helps people who already have Lyme disease and the symptoms that you're talking about, Chanel, and help them with those as well, because it can be a struggle. Yeah. Speaking of those symptoms, I feel like it's an episode of House where it's just, you know, these symptoms that people get when they didn't even realize they were bit by a tick in the first place. So remind us what they are and, you know, how, how you feel. You know, when I first got into medicine back in the mid 90s, uh, your Lyme disease wasn't something we regularly thought about. So somebody come in with these odd symptoms and you wouldn't even think about it for a while until you got down a big algorithm and then eventually mm -hmm. test for it. Now doctors test for it, but you have to catch it early. And if you don't, that could be an issue. And those are the symptoms there. Fever, headaches, fatigue, muscle aches, joint pains. Those are sound like just about everything else sure, you get. It's yeah. all the great imitator. Right. It is. The big difference there is that bullseye rash, and it mm -hmm. typically looks like a target or a bullseye. If you see that, you definitely want to get How to a doctor. How long does that rash last? Out. That rash can last a few days, a few weeks. It doesn't always come up either for Lyme disease. It's mm -hmm. not always there, but it's definitely something to look for. Okay. Dr. John Torres. Thank you, Dr. John. You bet. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.